Mad Skills University. And today I'm going to show you how to create three simple flyers in GIMP. One's going to be how to start a business. We're going to do a Taco Tuesday and a Tina Salon based on the same concept. Let's get started. Let's go up here to File, down to New, or press Control, Command, plus N as in Nancy. Make it 1000 by 1400 and the background white. Let's go over here to our colors and we're going to make sure that the top is white and the bottom is blue. Now let's go over here to gradient. Let's click down here and scale up. And if you look at your gradient and you see this, it might be on linear RGB. So change it to perpetual RGB. And what's cool about this is that we can have four or five different backgrounds too for this. So I can just go back into the color and go into the color wheel and change it. Like this will be great for Tina Salon, the pink and purple. And then just save those backgrounds. So you have multiple backgrounds. So as you create new flyers, this can be a template for you as well if you're doing this for clients or for your business. And you can also bring in textures. So and save the project and have all the multiple backgrounds. So you can always go in and change it. So what we're going to do now is bring in the first picture, the idea picture. So we're going to bring it in and we're going to drag it and place it on top of our background. We're going to press M to move it and we're going to move it up in the corner here. And I'm not sure if you're working with the assets that I provided or your own. Let's go to the rectangle tool or press E as an Edward. Let's create a circle and press M and move it or click in the middle. And once we get it centered to where we want, We'll go up here to select, down to invert, or we can press control or command plus I. Now press delete, or if you're on a Mac, go to clear. So we have two backgrounds here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sample from the picture and make a second lighter background. So I'm sampling that color inside that idea of picture. Now let's go to our text tool, press T as in Tom. I'm going to type in 19 here. Click on the bold. We're going to use Roboto Bold as our text or our font. We'll make it 100, but I think I changed that to 125, so you can just do that now if you want. Go back to our Move tool. Let's move this up and position it. Go back to our Text tool. And we're going to type in September. We'll change the font size to 33. Make that bold, and of course, change the font itself to Roboto. Now I'm going to create a layer here, and I'm going to call this S line. So my top line. I'm going to go back up to my rectangles tool. And I'm going to click here and just create a little small line. Go up here to edit, down to fill with background color, and then I'm going to lower the opacity to between 60 and 66. Let's go back to our move tool and move this down. A and now we'll bring in our second picture. Now I need to transform her, have her look in the other way. So I'm going to go up here to image, transform, and flip horizontally. Now we can bring her in to our flyer or poster. We're going to scale this, press shift plus S as in Sam, put her in place. Now this has to be a little bit bigger, I think now. So as you can see, I have two backgrounds there. And I'm going to go to the lighter one so I can see better as I scale this. All right, good enough. Let's go to Text Tool, and I'm going to go to Move Tool. And I'm just going to change some font sizes here. I changed September to 50, and I changed 19 to 125. And I'm going to move things around a little bit here. Now go back to our text tool and we're going to type start a business. Let's grab a corner and move this down so we can see our text. And we can press shift plus command or control plus J as in Jack to center and enlarge our picture. Change the font here and make it bold as well. I change the start a business font size to 90. Now I'm going to click on the color here and go to the color picker. 
I want to just sample the reddish pink inside the E. I want that to be my text color. Then I like the red in her sweater as well. But actually, I should flip that. So I'm going to flip that. I'm going to put the red on top and the pinkish red on the bottom. So now we have more continuity. So I'm going to make a copy of the number 19. Just drag it down to duplicate. And we'll call it Topics. We'll bring it up to the top. And let's move it now down to position. And we'll type in Seminar Topics. Change the font here, 63. I think I went down to 60 at the end, but we'll see. Let's position that. Now let's go up to text. And we're going to grab a corner here and move it in to put this where we want it. We'll do the other side as well. Now let's go up to filters, lights and shadow, and drop a shadow. And we can change the settings here and do whatever you want to do. I'm going to make the background more of a reddish color. The grow rate, the grow radius. And just do whatever you want to do here. But I'm just going to play around and see what looks good. And we'll do this now to everything. Start a business, the line, September and 19. So now let's go back up to our text tool and let's drag a box right here and let's start typing in the content of our seminar. Now I'm not trying to make this perfect, just to give you an idea how easy doing these types of flyers are. So now I'm just going to reposition this. So I'm going to change that font size to 44 so I can fit everything in so I can add the address and the website URL. Now I can move this over because I moved her over. Now we'll put in the address. And again, this is just a, a quick concept. Let's add some color to that. Let's create a space between the address. Now let's go over here and create a new layer. And what I want to do now is create a second line underneath financial viability. So I'll move that up. Go back over here to our rectangle tool. or press R as in red. And we'll drag that there. Go back up to edit. Fill with background color. That's going to be red. I want that to be different. So we'll make that a reddish color. Then of course we can lower opacity. But now let's go ahead and change it. So let's remove our two photos and bring in two different photos. So we'll go with the Taco Tuesday flyer now. Let's bring in our tacos. Bring them up here. And then move them down here. Now we can change our text here to Taco Tuesday. And we'll change the colors later. And let's bring in our taco man. Bring him up to the top. Now press M and we're going to move him to the upper left. Now I want to try to match the colors in his hat to the text. Just a little bit. Let's click on the color. Go to color picker and just start playing around with this trying to match the red and the orange yellow of his hat. It's not going to be perfect. That's good enough. 
Now we'll go back over to our text and our content and we'll type steak tacos buy three get one free. We can change the phone number up here, change the title to tacos. Now let's get rid of that and let's bring in Tina's salon. So let's bring in our collage picture. Take it up to the top. We'll press M. We'll move it up to upper left. Then we change the text here to Tina's salon. We'll match. I tried to match the red and the lady in the middle, but to her hair, but it just didn't look that good. So we'll go with pink purple. Pinkish purple. Change the color of that. We didn't do drop shadow on this, but you can. And we'll change this top title to Tina's. Now we'll go to image transform as we bring in the second picture. And we'll flip that horizontally. And then bring her up. Now bring her down. Then I'll go down here to the text where the address is. And I'll move it up above her so the address can be seen. And there you go. That's pretty much it. It's pretty simple to do. Anybody can do it. You can make sure you save your project, export this as a ping or JPEG file, and make sure the resolution's high. This way you can make it into a poster or a flyer or anything you want to do. Thanks for watching and happy creating. Find out more at midamericandreamers.org.